This week in digital imaging, we're going to talk about image resolution. There are a couple of numbers and concepts that I'd like to cover before we jump into Photoshop and talk about image resolution in Photoshop. So the first question is, what is image resolution? Well, it is the total amount of digital data in an image and how much of that data is displayed per inch. So the first question is, how do I know how much digital information I have in my image? Well, we'll once we get into Photoshop, I'm going to show you how to go to one of your panels and you'll be able to see the numbers displayed. But let's go back a step before Photoshop. The question is, how did your image get digital? Is it through a digital camera? And what were the settings on your digital camera? If, for example, I have a 12 megapixel camera and I'm shooting at the highest setting, I'm producing an image with 12 million pixels. That's a lot to work with. If, on the other hand, my image came in through a scanner, the amount of resolution or the amount of digital data in my image all depends on the settings used in the scan process. And that's something we'll cover a little bit later. So the next question is about how much of that digital information needs to be displayed per inch? How do I know that? Well, here on the screen I have for you just a quick example. I have the Photoshop logo that has been printed out at two different resolutions. So when we're talking about the resolution, again, we're talking about the total amount of digital information in the image and how much of that information is displayed per inch. So that's called the PPI, the pixels per inch. And the actual pixels per inch number is the number that we generally refer to as resolution. But just keep in mind, this number really talks about how much of the total image is being displayed per inch. So of my 12 million pixels, am I displaying 300 of those 12 million pixels per inch? Or am I displaying 72 of those 12 million pixels per inch? As you can see, in an image with a lower resolution, with 72 pixels per inch displayed, my image is a lot more blurry. The image with the 300 pixels per inch appears sharp. So already we can understand that the higher the pixels per inch displayed gives us a better quality image. But what are the numbers? These numbers are approximate. Printers need approximately 250 pixels per inch to be able to create a photographic quality image. And I say approximately. I personally use 250 as my guideline. If it's an image with a lot of details, Let's say, for example, I'm taking a microscopic image of a moth and I want to print it out at a postcard size where someone's going to really hold it up to their face to look at it, I might print it at 300 or 350 pixels per inch. So think of those pixels. The more pixels per inch you display, it's like creating a mosaic. If I create a mosaic with pennies versus large concrete blocks, if I create it with pennies, I can get more details. But that being said, there's a cap. You don't need to put in a thousand pixels per inch if your printer can only print up to 300 pixels per inch. The other exception to the rule is some printers may say, actually, our printers are set up to do 180 pixels per inch. So it's always worthwhile to think of 250 as a general guideline, but then look at your, the, spe the specs that came with your printer. And, or you can do a little research, web research, and see, for example, Epson printer, what is the recommended resolution for that? Another guideline to keep in mind is the quality of your paper can actually affect the quality of your image. A better quality paper, a paper with a bright white and that's very glossy, you can actually use less resolution on that image because of the way that the ink is going to interact with the paper. Less dots or less pixels per inch will blend better and make it look like a photographic image. So 250 is a guideline, but then there's some tweaking. And we'll talk about why you would even want to tweak once we get to Photoshop. Computer monitors, on the other hand, need less resolution. The worldwide standard of monitors needs 72 pixels per inch. That's a lot less than what a print needs. Most modern monitors, monitors made in the past couple of years, require 96 pixels per inch. 
There's not a big difference between 72 and 96, so you're pretty safe if you want to leave your monitor, your images that are going to go for being displayed on a monitor, in other words, web images, at 72 pixels per inch. Now, if you've ever had the experience that you've had an image on the web and that looks great, and then you've printed it out and it's blurry, it's because of the difference in the hardware limitations or the hardware needs between the printer and the monitor. The monitor does not require as much resolution or as many pixels per inch to be able to look good as a printer does. So that's why if you take your image and it looks great on the screen, but it's actually not a very large image, it may not look very good printed out. So this is why we need to understand what these numbers are, what image resolution is. So when we go over to Photoshop, we can look at our image size and we can understand if this image that we got from the web or we scanned in or is, was taken with our digital camera will look good printed out, will it look good printed out at only 4 by 6 or could I print it out to be a 20 by 24 inch image. So at this point we're going to move on over to Photoshop.